My progression before the courts was slightly unconventional. Uh, my first uh, case as a lawyer was before the Supreme Court of Canada. My second involved a five-day reference before the Alberta Court of Appeal. I then did a trial at Queen's Bench, and the joke at the time was that before I knew it, I might even make it to traffic court. It was at that time I was working on a team seeking compensation for David Milgard, who was wrongfully convicted for the murder and rape of a Saskatchewan nurse. David spent 23 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. That legal team was headed by my late husband, Hirsch Walsh, a brilliant criminal defense lawyer and an even better man. Hirsch was from Winnipeg, and we spent much time in Manitoba with our many family and friends. And I was happy there uh, to meet the Honorable uh, Justice Gould, who did the negotiations on behalf of the federal government. I was proud of the legal approach to damages we created, but I am more touched by the other aspects that that experience provided. For example, recognizing the importance of the presumption of innocence and the need for proof beyond a reasonable doubt how human error often imposes and exacts enormous human costs, and that investigation and judging requires constant vigilance, an open mind, caution, care, and profound humility. Through David, I also learned about moral courage, resilience, and the power of the human heart to forgive. While I have been engaged with some of the pressing issues of our time, I thoroughly understand and respect the different role played by judges and how, as a third branch of government, judges sit in a place apart. And a judge's duty is to listen to all sides, to administer justice according to law and based on evidence, and to do so in an objective, impartial, and fair manner. 